I don't know, some news is coming out here in about three minutes, and I'm trading this euro. It's going up. So I just bought at the market in the demo here, and I'm trading three scripts. I'm trying to keep it simple. My strategy is to make money. Some guy asked me, what's my strategy? To make money. And I have tight stops. So I, have, I actually got in on buy stops here. I'm looking to make 30 pips, right? Here is a 100 pip handle. So I'm only looking to see these... Uh, these blue are these blues are my exits. Let me go to the uh, three hour, the one hour chart, so you can see where that is in the context of uh, market price. And when they come after, they're going to come after this. These uh, guys, the bears stops here, right? Now my fr my first bear stop hunt on the um, one hour is going to be this wick, right? This fractal. Now you can get in on a buy stop there, but I'd rather get in down here. And the guy asked me, I got to delete this. Sorry. The guy asked me, uh, now I'm going to get out of the market right here. Okay, we're two minutes before the top of the hour. I'm getting out of everything. Everything. Okay, they can rip this back at any moment. So I'm taking everything off the table. We have uh, one minute to go. If you, it, you know, right? It's like, cool, could we rip it back here like we just did on that 15? Look at this rip back to this pivot. And like I said in the room, 145 right one, one uh, 1245 is the entry for this bounce here that I traded earlier and this is the pullback into this okay I'm not making this stuff up it is free yeah it's free this is the 15 structure triple top head and shoulders here I mean really hard to get your buy limits are here you scalped it there the news is still not come out yet now what do you do come in underneath if they rip that back you want to you want in for the scalp you want in this thing man here, I'm almost flat, right? I'm going to get in super tight. It looks like this. These are all buy limits, super tight. Now I'm going to get in a little deeper because we may spike this like we did back here, right? Now we're in the five-minute chart, and I see some guy, oh, don't trade other time frames. I don't, well, really? Oh, okay. If you only got one trick up your sleeve, if you're just a trend trader waiting for your indicators to roll over, okay, here comes the smash back. Now we want to get in limits. The news has not come out yet. I'm expecting a, a, smack, a smack up, but I'm also expecting a possible smack down. So if they leave the station without me, it's just fine. Okay, here comes the news. Well, right now, right? I don't know what the news is, honestly. And I, I, I kind of, you know what, look at it this way. At the top and bottom of every hour, there's a possibility for news. We don't know how big it is. I don't think it matters. Had a conversation with the trader. He was showing me all these fundamentals, all these trades. How does that figure on your risk? No offense to this guy, nicest guy in the world, right? I mean, I like the guy, you know? But I'm just saying, if you think the news, why would you want to fill your head with news when the pivot is the only thing that matters? Because that's where you're getting in. It's the logical best entry is this soft top on the half hour. Let's face it, they may not feel you right away. So your ego wants to get in or your fear of missing out. So you buy right now. But look, I scalped that move. I'm reloading the wagon. Here I am on the demo now. That's real money. I'm on the demo now. Now, let me make some serious bling on this damn account. I'm so tired of people that think that when they buy at the market, I know better. I've seen this. Well, they, or they're trading scared. I don't want the market come to you. Is your ego that big? You think you know. Okay, you do know on the one minute, right? Or you had a sell stop here. Now, let, this is just a nothing but a, I think it's just a candle up and down. This is just a, this is a non-close, non non, this is blind mechanical trading, right? You're putting buy stops when you see black bars and sell stops when you see whites, right? The only thing that traps you up here is the fact that, see, you have buy stops trailing here, is that they're gonna, they're gonna nab you like this, right? You gotta build that into your risk profile. You cannot let an EA take care of this job. Would you leave an EA in charge of your baby? If you consider money to be important to you and you wanna accumulate it, you're not gonna leave Okay, some people do leave their kid unattended with, you know, pliers and a bunch of water and 220 lines running. It happens, right? There's like saw versions of raising children, right? 
the saw version. Like this guy that's going to weld my car. Wow. Thought I was in a movie. I should have had a GoPro on my head today because I could have actually put a soundtrack on the scene and it was beautiful. Okay, I'm just saying. But let's not get sidetracked. We only got 15 minutes to obliterate the myths of like, if that easy, everybody do it. No, it's that easy, people. Just write a trade plan into MT4. And for those of you who do not know how to, let me just do the old run through here on go to hit control, hit F4 uh, on your keyboard. These are function keys from the olden days. Oops, I guess that meant something else because this guy's open. So sorry. Okay, wait. Hit control 4 here. And you're going to bring up the editor. And everything I post on this MT4 script, you're going to go in and create a script. You're going to say new. Um, I'm sorry, I only got a few gig of RAM. Dude, I got so much stuff open here. I think you've even got Skype open. Poor, poor, hard, poor cache section of the hard drive's probably got a hole burned into it. So you save that. No, you go for new. Right, and this is where you go to you, you script, and you, and you make sure that script. You pick a name and you delete everything in that script, and you paste in my files. And you can rename them, adjust them. There's no copyright on this stuff. Okay, there is this uh, copyright from 2004. Blah blah blah. I, you know, I, I cut that out because it's all it's all about me, damn it. Okay, I'm getting a I'm getting a signal. Okay, I'm gonna buy in limits on this pullback, but I'm gonna get in. These are going to last 15 minutes, so I'm not betting the, the ranch here anymore. I realize that maybe the party's over, and we're going to come into a, a doldrum here, and I'm going to get in on limits here. So this is what I'm doing. I'm getting in. These are one hours here. I'm going to trade this um, this demo pretty harshly. I'm going to trade it like um, like a rented car, like when you rent a car, you know? Because you can't do that anymore, I guess, because people are like keep track of all the abuse and uh, GPS, I got a black box on that, on that rental car now. But here, I want to buy on a pullback here, right? I don't want to overpay. I don't want to buy at the market. I want them to pull that back into these orders, okay? And I just keep launching that puppy. Now, this based upon how big your account is at this point. Now, if your account's building up, keep the same risk to reward ratios, and just keep loading up. Okay, I'm buying at the market now because I can see this. I've seen this pattern, I think, in my dreams. I'm buying at the market, and this is a demo, so I'm really loading up. This is buying, I think, um, just for all the math people, it's one, two, three, four, five. Add that up. One Ks. 30 pip take profit on the whole puppy, right? So I'm loading up hard. I'm in $95 of margin. I think I'm trading at 501 margin on this broker, maybe 1,001, who knows, who cares? Anyways, this stuff's only going to last an hour. So, and, and then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to drop. A buy stop just for good luck, right? And it's you can see the exits. Oh, see, they're pulling it back into my order. So I'm gonna keep dropping this. When they keep pulling back, I'm gonna gobble up all the stops that people have put in there, right? Don't forget, people have put stops in this market to protect themselves, and that's where you want to get in on limits. That is accurate trading. Some guy was talking about accurate trading. Look, that's not accurate getting in on limits. Really? I, 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 it may not be accurate, but it's cheap. It's low risk. The word accurate, I don't, I guess, here's the thing. When he said accurate, I think he actually meant like he was a, a, a man who hunts deer. Okay? He's got a gun. He's like a sniper. And I've heard this, not the first trader that told me he was a sniper. I've had two traders tell me they're snipers. Okay, I know, you know, no offense to you guys. Okay, love you to death, but if you're going to play a sniper game, you're going to use a BB gun. Because in this thing, you think you know, and that market backs up on you, you're trading at the market, which means you think you know that right now for the next 20 seconds, this is the bottom. I think you could do it on this five minute chart. Okay, but I'm going to scale into it and I'm going to have a tight stop of 15 pips. I will accumulate a position if I trade every three minutes at the market. But to put on one ticket at the market and walk away because you think you're so smart is so dumb. Sorry, no offense to all the snipers. 
so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what's illegal in the real world, and that is bear tra trapping deer with bear traps. DNR is not going to like that, at least in the States. Maybe over in uh, Mexico or where they do like, you know, snuff films. That's good. You're good to go, right? Now I'm going to load up the market here. I should have loaded it up heavier because I've seen this cup and handle before. But it's okay. I'm like I'm trying to. I'm just trying to explain this this um, strategy by low sell high, right? But these scripts, you dial them into your own. If you're a stop entry guy, build stop entry scripts this way and set hotkeys. Always set a hotkey, and you can set a hotkey and uh, get a hundred dollar Dell Livono Windows 8 tablet. Put the scripts in there. You're in the middle. You wake up in the middle of the night. I don't know if you're like me, but at three o'clock in the morning, I take a look at the market. One o'clock in the morning, I want to see what's going on. I see an opportunity. I see they spiked it, or I see they're about this possible spikes coming. Laying a laying a martingale grid, right? It works. Okay, it doesn't work in a trending market, but if you couldn't see the spike coming today, then it's probably you you're probably new it's probably your second day on the job um happens all day long happens all week long you can put in orders that last all week don't forget right and so i'm gonna go to the four hour this is a weekly entry at a round handle this is just this is goofball trading man this has nothing to do with macd moving average crossovers it's a tactical strategy if you want to call it a strategy because I'm trading like a tactician. It's like military, okay? Gonna back to the scene of the crime. Market always returns to the scene of the crime, retest. Or it comes back to the apex of a triangle. Or it comes back into a monthly pivot. Whatever pivot you wanna use, floor trader pivots don't work. So, you know, unless you're gonna place, yeah, you know, floor trader pivots work. Place your pennings there, see if it works. See what's better. Putting an order where all these people put their stops today where, where do the bears put their stops today on the four hour? Obviously, right up here. Uh oh, oopsie. So, um, you know, and always trade light at the market, but heavy, it pivots. Or at least, you know, whatever you can psychologically stand. Okay, I'm just saying. And um, so, I'm going to post this. Um, I guess I just. I guess I'm just angry. And I had a rant. Sorry. Sorry, you see that. But I just, I guess I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm almost like an alcoholic. Uh, I, it's the sniper thing that just kills me. I'm a sniper. Well, trade the five minute chart. Certainly. Tight stops in the five minute. It is possible. You could even build a robot, a sniper robot that buys on these small black guys. Buys the breakout. Where's the exit? I don't have these dial. These are kind of rant. Rant. The guy looked at the guy said random. One guy said, "Is this a random strategy?" I'm like, "Aren't they all?" I mean, I mean, isn't the market random? I could say this is a top. Become a bottom here. I want to get into this pivot. I think we can all see this pivot and this one. It blew through. I think we can all see the stop hunt that happened on the five minute chart down here with the triple bottom on the Wix, if you trade Wix only. It works on Wix, you just don't get filled as much. I think we can all agree this is a doji on some time frame or a triangle or a flag, blah blah blah, fill in the blank. Right. We can all see that. You could even do the old trend line on you know, nothing. Like I say, I probably should just not beat up on people that trade right, and make money. It all works. I'm just saying tight stops, wide exits, pennings that last 15 minutes, four hours, one hour. You don't need to, you don't need to worry about moving average crossovers when you trade like a market maker. Who do you think's making all the money here? The guy that grabbed your stop and raped your head off. Okay? The guy that grabbed that tight stop of yours and then pulled it down at a ratio of one to a hundred right now we're at that now we're where okay here's where they come in people are trying to buy that breakout 
I'm about ready to get out of this thing, man, if they don't take